What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be opening up 8 packs of the LEGO Movie 2 minifigures. So yeah, let's get straight into opening these up. I did pick these up earlier at Target today, and um, I did feel through these, so hopefully I'll get all the ones I wanted. I'm going to be careful not to cut any cape pieces. I have done that before. It's not good. Alright, so, oh sweet, we have Dorothy. Alright, let's get this built. The first minifigure we got is Dorothy from The Wizard of Oz. And she does come with her dog, Toto. So let's just take a quick look at him. Um, new mold. It's pretty awesome. Sort of a dark gray color with some printing on the side for some uh, fur. So yeah, really awesome piece to get. And then, uh, see the Dorothy minifigure here? She has a new hair mold with two little bows in it, alternate face in the back. She's kind of confused, which is pretty cool. She does include the fabric skirt piece, dual molded arms, and even some printing down there, which are the boots, or the slippers. So yeah, pretty awesome figure to start off with. Let's open up some more packs. On to the next figure. Okay, so we have the Cowardly Lion here. So another figure from the Wizard of Oz. And I forgot to mention, some of the figures do come in uh, extra plastic bags on the inside. Um, I don't really know the purpose of this, but just something I thought I'd point out. But anyways, let's get him built. We have the Cowardly Lion all built. And he is another uh, character from the Wizard of Oz. And he's definitely one of my favorites from this series. Really awesome figure. He comes with this accessory here, 2x2 two two, uh, printed piece. Um, this is completely new mold for sort of the main. I'll show you his alternate face. So first he's just got this kind of happy smiling look and then the back he's a little more uh, uh, sad or, or worried. However you want to see that. But yeah, then he does have this tail piece on the back. Which is pretty cool. Awesome figure. And I forgot to mention um, all the base plates for this series are white. Which actually I think is really awesome and super useful. So I'll probably stack these up and use these in some of my other reviews for minifigures. But yeah, that's, that's about it for the uh, plane. Put them next to Dorothy. Let's move on to the next pack. Alright, next minifigure pack here. Let's open this up. Let's see who we got. Alright, we got Rex. So next up we have Raptor Trainer Rex. And this is another one of my favorites from this series. Really awesome. He does come with the baby raptor. The uh, blue stripes, which is a piece I do not have. So that's really cool to get. And then, just looking at the minifigure. Uh, new mold uh, hair slash hat combo, which is really awesome. There is actually some printing on there, which is a really nice design. And then he has really a really cool face print, and it's actually uh, double-sided, which I wasn't expecting. So he's like super... Uh, he has a super confident kind of smile there, and then his alternate face, he looks really confident as well, but it's uh, more of a smirk. And then, uh, so he has, the same, I believe, the same torso as the standard Rex minifigure. However, his legs are completely exclusive. There's some lining on the side, which um, looks really nice. And then there's printing on the front and even on his feet. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Put him over with the rest of the figures. Let's move on. Opening up our next package. Oh, we have the Scarecrow. So here we have the Scarecrow all built. He does come with the Certificate of Achievement, which is a 2x2. Uh, tile and he's got his hat here, which is a new mold uh, Face print looks pretty happy. There's no alternate face because it would show through the back a little bit but Yeah, pretty simple figure, but another really awesome one and I'm glad to have him with the other Wizard of Oz figures Put him right there next to Dorothy So yeah, let's move on. All right, so we're halfway through the minifigures. Let's see what we get in this bag 
We have Emmett. So here we have Emmett with headphones on. New piece, um, molded exclusively for this figure. It looks pretty awesome. It's gonna be useful outside of just using it on Emmett. But he does have a really nice face print there. Really happy. Alternate face, he's even happier. So that's really cool to get. Love Emmett's expressions. He does come with a basic cup of coffee, which is not all that common. So it's cool to get that. And then he does come with this exclusive phone print. And it looks like he's listening to Everything is Awesome on there. Torso and legs are the same, but that's about it for this figure. Let's move on. Alright, we have Benny. Here we have Apocalypse Bird Benny, which is a really awesome figure. Um, the torso print on the front is the same as um, Benny in uh, Benny's Space Squad. And he has this sort of robot arm piece on the side, which is in um, the gunmetal gray color, which um, I don't believe is very common actually in that color. And then he has a black clip for a hand. And then he does have a toolbox with the classic space logo. That's pretty awesome. His face print looks pretty, uh, pretty upset. So that's cool to get. He does have an alternate face where he's more happy. Looks a little more like himself. But yeah, that's about it for this figure, so let's move on. Coming to an end here, let's open up our second to last minifigure. Alright, so we have the Tin Man. Here we have the Tin Man, which is the last of the Wizard of Oz figures that I needed. And he comes with this axe and heart piece, which are both very awesome accessories. And this is just a really detailed minifigure overall. Um, I actually like him more than I originally thought I would. He has a new mold for his hat. Um, so a lot of uh, metallic uh, printing on him, so that's cool. This is bow tie there, printing on the arms and on the legs, front and sides, even on his down to his feet. There's some uh, what seems to be like rusting and just wear on the back. There's some printing too. Just a very detailed minifigure in general and uh, cool to put him with the rest of the Wizard of Oz figures but he does also come with some, ex some uh, extra pieces. Extra piece of the heart and two extra bow ties which is interesting. Yeah, let's put him over here and move on to the final minifigure. We're on to the last minifigure. So far I've gotten um, all figures that I felt for and wanted to get. Now let's see who this figure is. Alright, and it's exactly who I was hoping it was going to be. It is Scratch and Post, and so let's get her built. So here is Scratch and Post, and the main reason I wanted this minifigure wasn't actually for the minifigure, it was for this cat, so let's take a look at this first. And this is just really awesome. <laughs> He's got a little mohawk here and a chain necklace, completely new mold for this cat. And even some angry printing on there with some bandages. So this is like full-on apocalypse uh, cat right here. So that's really awesome. And then taking a look at the minifigure, who's actually very detailed. Just sort of an angry face print there with... Uh, Subtle printing for the whiskers, which is pretty funny. So long gray hair. And then on her arms, she does have arm printing, which is identical on both sides. But pretty cool. A very detailed torso. Move the hair out of the way so you can see some more of the printing. Uh, the the uh, yellow uh, is not printed on there too well. It could be better, but it's not the worst. And then on the legs... The yellow is actually printed on a little better than on the torso, which is interesting. And uh, the printing here is really detailed as well. Also printing on the sides of the legs, identical on both sides. So yeah, I did get all the figures that I was trying to get as of now. But anyways, uh, let's move on to my final thoughts. Overall, I think my minifigure packs were really successful. I managed to get all the Wizard of Oz uh, minifigures, which I really wanted. And then I got some cool characters from the LEGO Movie 2. 
I'm actually interested to see um, how the Wizard of Oz characters are going to play in the movie. Since I haven't seen it yet, I wasn't able to make it to the early showing. But I heard it was really good, and I'm really excited for it. So if you are excited for the LEGO Movie 2, uh, leave a like down below. But uh, yeah, just for the figures in general, they're all fantastic. Um, really great printing, really great pieces. This is um, just a really nice series in general. Now let's take a look at the instructions here, and the checklist. Um, just so you guys have an idea what that looks like. The Wizard of Oz figures are shown down here, Yellow Brick Road, with the uh, logo for the movie right there. And on the back we have some instructions for specific minifigures. There's one for this lady to, just to apply the skirt piece, and then for Dorothy here. And it just does show you how to build Unikitty. So, yeah, that's, how about, that's about it for this uh, minifigure pack opening. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like below. It'll help me out a lot and subscribe. But that's all for this video. I'll see you guys later.